Well, you know, Title IX was uh, not existent when I was in high school. So, um, in high school and college, I didn't know athletic activities because there weren't any available. We were supposed to learn how to cook and sew and keep house. Not much was offered when I was growing up in Paducah, Kentucky. So, I was a cheerleader. I did swim. Yeah, I learned to play golf, tennis, things that, you know, growing up, but never wasn't encouraged in sports as a young young girl growing up. My background was rather pathetic. Uh, <laughs> I had no uh, high school sports and uh, nothing in college either. It was a little bit of intramural football is about all. And uh, with 130 pounds, that's not much football anyhow. When I was a kid, I just played every sport there was. Just my, I had a twin brother, and we just were engaged in, in everything we could, whether it was a ball, a bat, um, swimming, diving, everything like that. But I found uh, some success in swimming, so I stayed with that and uh, swam in high school and college. And um, actually took a lot of time off between then and when I started doing triathlons. I was a swimmer in high school, not good. Um, didn't qualify for state or anything like that, only on relays. Um, but then I started, after kind of a personal catharsis, I, I took up cycling out at Colorado State University and I um, actually had aspirations at one point to maybe turn pro in that. And so I, would, I come from a competitive cycling background. I swam when I was a kid competitively and I swam through high school and then I ran my senior year of high school, ran in college and then just had to find an outlet for being competitive so I just started biking and I honestly don't remember what made me decide to do the first triathlon.